Let's start with our WordPress. And in this chapter, we're going to clean up. I call it the cleanup. It's rather like a setup of WordPress. Click on login and it takes you into WordPress. I'm one of those people that really care about terminology. The problem is that sometimes you shouldn't care too much about things because most people don't care. You will often hear that when influencers and educators talk about WordPress, they call this the dashboard. The dashboard is one part of the WordPress admin area. Actually, this is called the admin area. Now, when you are working with a host, in this case, I am, then they often pre-install things on your site. WordPress also pre-installs things on your installation, and they are, in most cases, harmless. You don't really need to do anything. You can leave them there. But in this little small OCD characteristic of mine, I do like to clean them out so that you and I can be on the same page. And I call it the four P's and the one S. Usually I do three P's first, then the S, and then another P. So the first thing we do is we go to the navigation sidebar on the left, go to posts, and we click on it. And there is a post already here that WordPress has been putting there forever called Hello World. To delete it, you select trash. It's not permanently deleted. It's now in a trash folder. And you can see just up there, it says trash. Select it and click on empty trash to get rid of it forever and ever. You will never need it. The next one is the pages. So if you go to pages, WordPress loads two pages. We're going to take them away as well. This time I will bulk select them by clicking here in the checkbox at the top, selects all of them. Then you go to bulk actions and from the drop down menu, you select move to trash. Same procedure, click apply. It's going to put all in the bin. And then when you click on trash, you will see the two are here. And again, we're going to empty trash. So the next P on our list are plugins. And that you find over here. Click on plugins and you will see we have three plugins. I am going to select all of them again with bulk select. And you may have none or you may have different ones. And the first thing I will do is click on deactivate. This one that is highlighted in blue is actually activated. So when you see them highlighted in blue, it means that at this moment, they are running within WordPress. If they are white like these two, it means they are available. They are there in the installation, but they are not being used. You cannot just delete something that is active. You need to deactivate it first. So not to do it one by one, I'm going to bulk select all of them and click on deactivate. Those that are not active will remain deactive. Then I will select them all again and I will go to bulk actions and click on delete and click apply. In this case, WordPress is going to be a little bit concerned that I don't know what I'm doing. But if you are with a vanilla installation, go ahead and click on OK and it will remove them all. The three P's comes the S and that takes us to settings where I make a few changes to the settings. We will change two things here. First is the site language. Yes, if you speak a different language than English, there is most probably a user interface language selection for you over here. I am from South Africa, so I can put it on English South Africa. The changes to that are minimal, but I do that so that you understand that if you prefer Japanese, if you prefer German, you can do that. For me, even though my mother tongue isn't English, it's Afrikaans. When I put it in Afrikaans, I have no idea what's going on here because many of these words are just so foreign to me in my own mother tongue. So I keep it on English. The other thing I'll also do here is to change the time zone. And we're going to put that on my time zone, which is UTC plus two. Within these settings, you can also change your name of your site as well as a little description of it. But we're going to do that later when we work with the theme. Any changes you make here, scroll to the bottom and click on Save Changes. In the screen, you often don't see that Save Changes button at the bottom. And when you click on anything else now, it will not warn you that you haven't made those changes permanent. So remember, always go look for the Save Changes. Click on that. And that brings us to the last P, which is permalinks. This is under settings and you select permalinks. Now, what permalinks do is that they determine 
how the last part of your website address will look. For example, if you create a new page and you call that an about us page, then it will say at the end about us. For your posts, when you do any article, the default in WordPress many years ago was to put a date there. So if I created like today on Saturday, the 13th, May 2023, my post name would be my site and then the date, not the name of the post. But today we prefer to use the post name. This is actually not important for this course because we're not going to be creating posts that we will be doing in the blogging one. But I want to show you that there is a permalink structure which we will talk about more in the future. But for good measure, this is part of my four P's, permalinks, and I put it on post name, and then I save my changes. And now I've done all the cleaning in the back end. I've made sure everything that I want here is set up, so I'm good to go. And that brings me to the next change that we will make, and that is the theme. 